Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Across the Board. I'm your host, Wayne. Now, it's been a minute. We decided to get back to it. I got a, I got a co-host with me. Her name is Duchess. And um, we had a, a crazy conversation that we needed to get through. And we, the people want to know, especially me. I go through it a lot, and I figured she could clear the air. You are a dog. You have been on your life. Why is it that you dogs love to watch humans have sex? I mean, I've been with someone who's a pet owner, and they've been looking at me every time I have sex, and it's kind of weird. Can you explain? What? Cat got your tongue? What? Hold on. When I ask this question, you getting a little defensive? Did you need to be there, literally? Hold on. Hold on. You getting mad with me? When I'm asking questions about your business, but you like to be all in my business? Uh, Obviously, we're not even getting away with this. <laughs> Literally love watching people. What, what is it? What's your favorite position to watch? Doggy style? <laughs> Hold up. Don't get mad with me. Uh, <sighs> Man, the fuck is I'm kidding myself? What the fuck I'm doing? I'm getting tired of this bullshit. I need to get my shit together. I definitely need to not keep talking to you. Where the fuck is Devon at? We need to start this season two. I'm not even dressed for this shit. Oh, hey, I'm out. No, look who's finally fucking be in town. Yo. Yo, yo what up, yo? <laughs> what the fuck, B? What's up? I just seen the shit you did with Duchess. You, yeah. you talking to a dog now? Yo, first of all, mind your business. <laughs> um... Yeah, man, time is money, man. Where you been at? We got to shoot this season, too, man. Uh, you know, man, life hit me, you know. Nothing too crazy, but uh, I'm here. Are, 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 are you here to stay? Yeah, man. Can we get some work done? Can we get some fucking work done? Let's get to it, man. All right, well, yo, first things first. Yo, we, we need a guest. I got a guest. Oh, you got a guest? I got uh, a guest. Who, who are we talking about? I got my girl, Alicia, man. You know what I'm saying? Straight New Yorker. Okay. Who that? Yo, first of all, pretty, pretty with brains, and she, okay. she's thorough as shit. Yo, she's a psychotherapist. Oh, word. And I think we need to start, we need to start the show off on a different note, regards of a, of a different opinion when it comes to, to the mental health and to the mindset, man. Nah, for sure, for sure. Cause I, I need to know, like, where's the, 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 um, the mental capacity of these women out here. Like, I, I need to know where, what's their mindset when it comes to connecting. Because I, I need to know how to connect with these women. I, apparently, I ain't doing it right. Well, shit, I don't think no men are doing it right. And this is why we got to get her on the show. Exactly, exactly. All right, so shoot, set it up. I, I'm set that, so we good. All right, we good, yeah. We're not going nowhere. Because, yo, I got, yo, Duchess is about to replace you, man. She, uh, Even though she was a little lost for words? She was, she was. Don't worry about it. She I still got some questions for her, though. <laughs> <laughs> I still got some questions for her. All right, cool. Let's set that up. Yeah, you ain't, <laughs> you ain't have to hold my hand that long, though, brother. <laughs> On, it made me very paranoid a little bit about, you know, just connecting to anybody, you know, and I can't just live off of what somebody has to say. I have to, you know, dissect how you're living, you know, what's your history, what's your, you know, your goals in life, what's your mindset like, you know, what baggage are you carrying? Like, and I feel like that takes a lot of time to understand and learn about somebody. So where, what, what is, what is the, the, the key elements for you to give that person another shot to get to know them? Because that's a lot to take in for a man. You know what I'm and saying? I'm I think that's sure. overwhelming, and, and though. Something. And that's why I feel like, you know, therapy is necessary. Yeah, yeah. You I know? get that, but like... You because it's not realistic. I know. But the therapy is like... A one-on-one -on -one thing, and I'm sure any therapist would probably say you need to be a little more flexible. Exactly, and, and be exactly. So, I mean, and if you find a guy attractive, and so far he like what he he like you like where he's coming from, mm -hmm. from the first date he made you you know you're laughing, you're smiling, you know what I'm saying? He's saying the key elements. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful and thing. It's beautiful if you're a teenager. I'm a grown ass woman. Yeah, so but I, I mean, come with responsibilities. But, but, I come with a family I get, already. But I'm sure, I'm sure he's open to that. I'm sure he. he I don't know. How but, am I gonna know but that? Like, but it's like, <laughs> like, but I'm saying, are you? Are you but it, like, isn't that kind of like more of a like, like scaring someone off intentionally? 
No, I try not to say nothing. Listen, that's why I'm in the frame of mind. Like, I just want to have fun. Okay. I don't want no commitment. I don't want you to expect nothing from me. I don't want to expect nothing from you. You know, that's kind of where I'm at right now. <laughs> I mean, you know, because I feel like that's a safe zone. And I feel like yeah. if a lot of people play in the safe zone rather than fake the funk, mm -hmm. they would be in a better situation. So when, when, you think, when you think enough is enough of being in a safe zone, or do you, do you, do you want... And you don't have to answer this. I'm just saying, like, certain people are content and happy being single forever. Mm -hmm. I know. And that's so, like, because, let me let that be clear. I do not want to be single forever. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, I just feel like marriage and that type of level of commitment, I don't think people should really do that until they're, like, 50. Uh -huh. <laughs> what your ass say? <laughs> Honestly, because Elaborate. I know, <laughs> I know, I'm challenged all the time, but I you're feel like, like you're 20, you're one way. I feel like when you're 30, you're another way. I feel like 40, you like, I don't know what the fuck I was doing in my 20s. Right. I, I'm lost in my 30s. Yeah, yeah. I need to get this shit together in my 40s. So right, by the right. time I'm 50, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be like, all right, I'm ready. You know okay, what I'm saying? Okay, like, so now, you know, <laughs> like I'm done with the bullshit, I'm yeah. done with the I know me. I know what I want. I know what I don't want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and I feel like when we in our 20s and 30s, we still playing on that. We still trying to but figure that out. That oh, 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 I feel what you're coming from. But are you, <laughs> you, are you, you say that because you have a child already. Yeah, but I had a child at 35. I get that. But if you didn't, <laughs> oh. if you didn't have a so child. So I have a child at 20. You I get, know what I'm saying? No, 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 I get that. That's cool. But what I'm saying is if, oh. if you didn't have a child now at the age of 35, mm -hmm. would you still have that same, that same uh, frame of mind? saying I'm ready to, you know, settle down, settle down when I'm ready at the age of 50 and get married? Well, I don't know if it's going to be 50. It might be 45. Okay. You know. Can I just bring you along with every girl that I meet and just be like, uh, just talk to her. <laughs> just, just talk to her. Well you, well, you well, you can get my card out. Yes, you can. I'm just saying, you know. Saying, you, know you might not want to just throw that out there right then. I'm like, you trying to think I'm crazy? You know, you trying to get me to talk to somebody? But no, but seriously, I, I just feel like I'm in tune with where I'm at, mm -hmm. you know, and I feel like if everybody is in tune with where they are mm -hmm. individually, mm -hmm. you know, we'll be at a better place when we make connections, 100%. you know, because either we're going to roll with somebody on our same agenda or not, okay. you know, and, and I feel like a lot of times you may have one agenda and the other person may have another agenda. Mm -hmm. And if those agendas are not matching, that's where a lot of the conflict builds because either somebody's not being flexible, somebody's not being open, somebody is not giving, you know, somebody's being stubborn. Mm -hmm. it's, it's always something, you know? So it's like, all right, at this point, how do you want to be? I want to yeah. be harmonious. Like, I don't want to be angry. I don't want to be upset. I don't want to have resentments. Right. I don't want to be checking your phone. Right. I don't, I, I don't want to do none of that. So that's why I had to make that solid choice. Let me be single. But, yeah. but, 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 but he didn't present any red flags for you to even have that assessment, unless that's what you already want from the from, from start. But it's not even about the red flags. It's about knowing yourself. Okay. Right? And knowing what you've been through. Nobody walked in your shoes. Mm -hmm. So it's like, if I walked in these shoes and I've been through this, this, and that, I know what mindset I still have on. I know what I'm still holding on to. I know what I'm still angry about. And I still may need to work on those things, you know? And my thing is right now, my level of trust, I trust people 100%. Um, I just don't trust myself if they betray me. You don't know me, I'm crazy. I know you're crazy. I never, you know what? No, 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 I, no, no, no. I, 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 I get it. Mm -hmm. I, I, that's that's how I feel. Mm -hmm. That is exactly how I feel because how you saying that? It's uh, it's cool. You the the, the person is going to do what they do. Do yes. I'm worried about myself. Mm -hmm. How I'm going to react to that situation? Mm -hmm. And I think honestly, that's why I have bowed out of a lot of situations. Mm -hmm. or or I, and when I say bowed out, it's not to the sense of where I'm like, oh, I'm out of here. It's more like, I'm going to let you talk. I'm going to let you go in. But mm -hmm. I'm not even going to say anything because I know if I say something or react to it the way I think I may react to it, mm -hmm. you're not going to like it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And no one can tell you what you are willing to handle versus what you're not willing to handle. Mm -hmm. You know? And even as a therapist, mm -hmm. you know, I help people figure that out for themselves. I'm yeah. like, I can't tell you that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But I'll tell you one thing. If you're unhappy and that unhappiness is consistent, 
You know what I'm saying? You gotta check that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you may want to do something a little different because they say if you keep doing the same thing, expecting a different result, that is insanity. Mm. So do you want to continue to operate in an insane way, or do you want to be rational? You know, you know. And, and it comes down to that when it comes to making those decisions in relationships. It's like, you know, do I want to approach this in the sane way mm -hmm. or the insane way? You know, and the insane True. way may have been, you know, I may not have communicated about how I truly felt. I may not have set certain standards. I may not have, you know, made the best choices when it came to making connections. But, you know, I'm, I, I have to know what it is that I'm willing to do mm -hmm. in order to change mm -hmm. that. So I have a little bit more insight, you know, because um, if I don't have the insight, then I'm doomed to repeat the same mistakes, exactly. you know. Yeah. And that's what happens. And then we become resentful. That's and we true. carry that in every relationship. And, 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 and that's the real thing. That's the real thing. But, like, to, 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 to go back on what you were saying as far as, like, the different ages or whatever, mm -hmm. uh, do you think that decision comes from uh, experiences or just strictly the number on your age? <laughs> so I come from a two parent household. Okay. My family has been together as long as I've been. My my, my parents have been together as long as I've been alive. That's right. right? That's um, right. which I feel black love. Oh, <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. No doubt. Yeah. But I feel like um, my parents love each other, but may not be in love. Um, and and um, it is, you know, and and they taught me a lot about commitment on a whole nother level. Like, I don't gotta like you, I don't gotta, you know, vibe with you, but we need a partnership and we signed on board for this and yeah. we're gonna ride this out until the wheels fall off, right? And I feel like a lot in our generation doesn't ride off of that anymore. Yeah. You know, um, we're very quick to give up. And a lot of it is because, and I know, I was scared. Because I was like, I will not accept things that my mother accepted in a relationship. And I'm like, my mother is strong, powerful, love her to death. But I'm just like, I don't know emotionally if I can handle some of the things that I think she endured. Mm -hmm. And one of them was, you know, being with someone who was verbally abusive and controlling. You know, and um, I don't think that my father saw it or perceived it that way, but that's what it was. Yeah. You know, and when your happiness is at the brink of somebody else's, you know what I mean? Like, that's a huge sacrifice. And I feel like a lot of women, you know, do that. And I, I feel like a lot of men do that, too, in relationships, yeah. right? Like, I, I just want to, like you know, be with you because that's, that looks good to the world, but I'm not really fulfilled. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm just sitting here in this relationship and I'm being unhappy. And I don't, I never wanted to see myself be in a situation where I was unhappy and I couldn't get out of it, mm -hmm. you know? And I, that's why I made one of those choices of like, all right, I need to stay single until... I know how to make me happy 100%, yeah, yeah. you know? Um, and I had to come to realization after I had a baby. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. I was like, oh shit, bitch, you really not really that happy? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you thought having this baby's gonna make you happy? No, it's not. And that's what I feel like I'm oh, out of nah. Yo. They think having a baby is gonna fill that void. Cause it's a lot of, I don't need him to love me because I got my son, he gonna love me. That's no, not true. That's not true. Oh, okay. That's not true. Because I have a baby crying and he's right. crying from you every second of the day. Right. You like, what? I want to get out of this <laughs> as soon as possible. Right? But but what, what? I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> but, but what I'm saying is the core of that is happiness. Mm. Right? And if you as an individual don't know how to make yourself happy, it's going to be hard for you to do that in a relationship. Mm. You know? And you have to know what drives you to be unhappy. And I know settling will make me freaking unhappy. Yo, and then that, and that's that's one thing I've always tried to avoid because a lot of women, when I say through my twenties, I I didn't I didn't want to settle. Mm -hmm. I was trying to find. I was just talking about my boy. I don't want like saying the term find myself, but I was trying to see like what I was really into. Like I was learning more about myself because I feel like that's what your twenties is for. Mm -hmm. It is just learning. Like granted, when when we went back in like. 
high, middle school, high school, we said, oh, by 30, we're going to be married already with two kids and whatever. That, that was the <laughs> ideal thing. Yeah, but then once you hit 25, you're like, I don't know what the fuck is going on in my life. You know what I'm saying? So in my 20s, that's what I was going through. And now that I, I hit my 30s, it's like, I think I got a gist of what type of woman I want, what type of life I want to live with them, blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. Now, am I going out there and being proactive to look for it? I'm not going to lie. I'm not. But at the same time, from my experience, if I go searching for certain certain things, <laughs> I won't find it. So it's like, I got to let things, because I'm a, I'm a go with the flow type of guy. Like I was saying <laughs> earlier, I'm a vibe, I'm an energy, yeah. go with the flow. Just because you might check off all the boxes, oh, she's sexy as hell, she got her degree here, she's doing this, the, that means, that don't mean anything. Because, you happy with the person. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and that, that happens one too many times, and that goes back to people settling. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. why I, I mean, people settle because it makes sense. It, it makes sense what people look at it as. Like, from the outside looking in, oh, my God, you guys look perfect together. Mm-hmm. And so when people keep saying that, you settle into that theory. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you could be miserable. But, I think celebrities do that all the time. Um, on, the, on the Manson's episode, Dave was talking about that. Yeah. He was saying that everybody told them that him and his ex-wife look good together. Like, mm-hmm. on paper, y'all great together. So he felt like, I'm supposed to marry her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I don't think that a lot of men have blueprint on marriage, no. period, yeah. right? Especially this day and age, you know, it's like, first of all, they, you know, they, they're looking at what TV and other things are saying, oh, get on one bend knee and propose and all this other stuff. But it's far removed from our culture, yeah. I feel. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, I think it, it, it's it getting... sprinkles. It sprinkles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think everybody's more conventional in a way of being more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They're trying to be more spontaneous the way they want to go about it. Mm-hmm. I think our era, the 80s, 90s, growing up into the 2000s, I think we're always going to have those key elements to do it right on our terms the way we need to do it. It still may not be perfect, but I know the millenniums, the, you know, the, the yeah. 90 babies and all that stuff, they don't have that type of culture. No. You know what I'm saying? So, they don't... We, we like that in between, though. Yeah, we all in like between. That. If you was born in the 80s, you know, raised in the 90s, that really grew up in the 2000s, you, we didn't have that net. Yeah. You know, so. I mean, I th- I, but I think, I think we was fast learners. We was. And this is what I'm saying, but we also didn't have so much influence like this culture today does. Oh, you see what I'm saying? So that, we, didn't have, we didn't have that much distraction. The most distraction was you was on 125th Street and you saw uh, you know, two or three girls that was cute. Right. You right, know what I'm right. saying? Like now and you're seeing that. The the whole whole this is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. But now today, <laughs> honey, that chick is you talking about her for two minutes and you moving on to and the next yeah, one. You, know, swipe. you know, so. Oh, food. <laughs> and you just see the next exactly. one like, oh, what was Shorty name? What's her name? I must have forgot. Exactly. So right there, with that <laughs> alone, nobody <laughs> feels I need to commit because there's it's a lot. Options. It's options. It's options. We got options. And I don't have to settle, right? Which I understand. But, you know, at the same time, it's like, I'm a little questionable still about, like, dating and sites and stuff like that, mm-hmm. you know? Because I feel like it's still not authentic. It's you, still- not, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can yeah. fabricate. All right, so, so you're skeptical on dating sites? Yeah. Because it's like, I'm putting out what I want you to know. That's, that, that's true. That is very true. Now... Now, I think when it comes to that, that goes for anything, though. If I met you in a bar, I'm only going to let you know what I want to know. It's the same thing. You you are absolutely right. But I can see you. You got two arms, two legs, ten fingers, ten toes. You see what I'm saying? Like, (laughs) there's certain things on this internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I I, 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 I get it. I'm I'm, I'm an extremist. I like, I like, to be honest with you, I'm kind of pro dating apps. I think certain apps have a reputation of what they are. Mm-hmm. I think there's some that's in between, and there's a good balance. Mm-hmm. Depends on how responsible you are with it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I think, and I think that's why um, people have a short um, attention span because there's so many options in regards of looking for what you want to look for. Yeah. I think when you do have 
when you think when you do use a dating app, I think there is a is a crutch because people have been given up on doing it the conventional way because right. okay. people don't know how to articulate and introduce themselves oh, in a God. way. Can we, can we, can we dis- you know what I'm saying? I need to discuss that real quick. <laughs> First of all, I love dating apps. Uh, you know, shout out to I'm pro dating app. But at the same time, dating apps take away from real conversation, real personality because a, a lot of women don't know how to hold a real conversation without texting. Like we were just talking about, you know what? Yeah, fuck like it. Bumble. They start. They they they. I, I don't want to give. I don't want to give free promo. But with Bumble, the women have to start the conversation. And all these women, hi. Hi, how are you? Man, if I was saying shit like that, oh, that's all you got to say? Yo, so many don't know, don't know how so to hold a real ball, conversation. If you want to see this same girl on the street, <laughs> well, if, if she says hi, that's all you want to say? No, first of all, if you know what a buck, no, the you know what a buck, women do not holler at me in the street. So if you say something to me, I'll be like, oh, hey, what's going on? I need to know what, what you're about now. Because I don't, I'm not used to having women actually saying stuff to me in the street or whatever the case may be. So now I'm like, all right, I need to know what's wrong with you. No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let me ask you this. But how about you learn how to start a conversation? I know how to start a conversation. I know how to start a conversation. I know how to start a conversation. And so if she says hi, mm-hmm. you're supposed to have that comeback. Oh. And, I, and I do in, in the street. All yeah, day. I do. Not and, in the street? And, Online, so I, no, no, I do, but at the same time, I, I, I keep the conversation going, I do, but at the same time, it's like, dad, do you really know how to start it off and keep this going? Because that's a challenge as a man, that's what we are challenged to do. It's like, well, you got to hold my attention for at least three minutes before I can get, so continue this. That's unrealistic. It is, but that okay. is because there's options out there, because well, so I say, first of all, the first minute, yeah, I'm saying something to you, but your eyes may be over there somewhere. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, what 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 go- grounds do we really have to work off of when that's the that's the 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 playing field that we deal with? But it's the same. It's it's, it's, it's I think it's. Oh, she was just she was just talking. Oh, my fault. My eyes was. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that, back. I'm back. I'm back. Oh, no. I'm back. <laughs> but no, nah, but I, I want to feel like that's the. That, I feel like that's the same scenario. It, it goes both ways. Think about it. That's like, let's say, you know what? I'm gonna show my age a bit. That's like saying, you know, what I mean, back in the day, fuck you, <laughs> fuck you. Um, that's like saying, you know, as I was in high school and I wanted to date someone in my high school, she didn't want nothing to do with me because her attention span was with someone in college. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like, all right, but preach. So my question is, what that do to your insecurity? It, 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 it crushed me. It crushed my insecurity a little bit. But it made, it crushed me. It's like, but damn, now I got to fucking be, I have to, I have to compete with a college guy. Because Oh no, no You got that fire Yeah Heat that I feel when I am cold Yeah, yeah Hey Look what you do to me I appreciate it I told you to show you Control of me, your love, you got control of me.